For over 100 years, families across the country have participated in the annual Christmas bird count. Started in 1900, this citizen science project has helped wildlife biologists track avian health for generations. When we talk about health populations, we're looking at species occurrence at specific locations um, and then of course their numbers. So for example, scientists are always interested in exactly where species might occur, perhaps might be out of the range. They're always interested in looking at range expansion or if common species are no longer present or perhaps uh, there's larger numbers than they typically see. So this is kind of, um, you know, one of the big questions these days is leading into climate change and what effect climate change may have. So with a project such as the Christmas Bird Count, they're able to put together probably one of the most comprehensive wildlife surveys in the United States. They're able to get a snapshot of bird populations throughout the United States, which could not be possible without the help of citizens. Using that snapshot, they've been able to look at species population currents, and they've really been able to get an idea of those trends of those species. Um, so if you're seeing declines over multiple years, that's kind of a, a red flag that the species might need extra help in looking at the specific actions that, that managers could do um, in protected areas that might help those population levels. Every year, over 63,000 volunteers take part in one of the 2,200 bird counts across the world. Big Oaks started their count in 2001, looking for both their expected winter birds, as well as the occasional stray that has wandered off course. It's always a kind of a, a fun-natured competition to see what group might be able to get more birds, or what group could get the rarest bird, or what group gets the best bird of the day. Um, so it, it's, like I said, it's always fun nature and always keeps things a little exciting. The best thing for me is we're able to get typically 15 to 25 people out here. Their sole purpose is to go out and find birds all day long. I mean, it's, it's just a, it's a great time because you get so many folks that are, are so passionate about birding and bird conservation in general. Being able to discuss different topics and just to see the excitement, especially younger people's eyes, you know, it, it's, it's, it's really rewarding. My daughter Megan and I, we're really into nature, so we like to do things together, and a lot of times uh, my wife Diane and Ian don't get to participate as much, so this just seemed like a nice way for us to do something together that was nature-oriented, get out to Big Oaks and do something together that was fun. For avid bird enthusiasts, these counts aren't just fun, they are a way of life. Lots of times my wife will get aggravated at me for birding while I drive, and I guess I really can't help it. Once you're a birder, you take every opportunity to bird, it used to be, when I was younger, she'd say, slow down, you're driving too fast. Now it's, uh, pay attention to the road, you're watching too many birds. And with birders, patience isn't just a virtue, it's a requirement. Luckily for Joe and Paul, their patience paid off. Paul's fishing, that's a way to imitate uh, bird scolding, and when you do that, birds will pop up just to see what's going on. And so it's sometimes that's a way to get some of these secretive birds, like some of the sparrows, jump up and you can get a good look at them. Yeah, I got some. Yep. Although not to downplay it, it's something you expect. We get them every year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just that you want, you want it to be your group that finds them. You, right. you don't want somebody else saying, oh, we got a golden. Oh, man. You look at all the work we do is, is we do it for the birds. And you know, we like to see the result of that. And having golden eagles come and spend the winter here, that's, that's great. A good excuse to get out you know, on something like this, you feel like you're doing something good. How many people see golden eagles in Indiana? Not very many. You know, there's there's a, just a few places you can go to see them. And uh, it's just, it's evidence that uh, you guys are doing the job right around here. That all your hard work is paying off.